Good morning ladies and gents, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're checking out Terra Luna Classic. We're going to look at the bearish and the bullish scenario. We can see we're now trading at $0.0004. We are down 10% over the last 24 hours and the market cap has slipped down to 2.479 billion. So things are starting to look a little bit bearish for Luna Classic and holders are also becoming a little bit worried. So yeah guys, before we crack on, make sure you jump into the Discord channel down below. It's completely free. We're all talking about Luna Classic. We're having a great time sharing advice, charts, news. So just get yourself in the Discord. It's completely free. Why not? Don't be shy. Um, and yeah, let's crack on with Luna Classic today. So we can see we're still ranked 29, which is you know, really it's amazing looking back eight weeks ago since, you know, sort of May, June, July time. Luna Classic is doing fantastic. But looking at the last week, things are becoming a little bit bearish. So we can see here, looking at the markets, the volume is also also falling away a little bit. We're still, most of it's coming through Binance, Qcoin, Gate.io. But since we saw the promise from CZ, you know, the deployment of the tax and the burn not go live, we've just seen a complete bearish reversal since. So the rest of the crypto market is looking pretty good. But we can see actually for the first time in a while, Luna Classic and Luna they're not green today. They're actually red. And usually they're the ones in the limelight, center stage position, you know, but today, not really. Bitcoin is hovering at 22K, Ethereum at 1.7K uh, over there. So let's have a look. Why has Terra Luna Classic actually pumped over the recent days? I'm not going to read this, but it's all to do with the staking services. It's all to do with the Luna Classic token burn as well. And you can even see this article is saying there's a massive crash risk ahead. We have been saying on this channel that is very euphoric what's happened for Luna Classic. And it's not really realistic to have these almost like skyscraper candles, right? On the charts and you're so overextended on the 20 day moving average and things like that. So we're going to just jump straight into the charts to begin with. We're going to look at the one week time frame, and there it is. We can see the selling pressure. This is pretty much a blow off top that that article was just talking about. This is the blow off top. We've got rejected here at 0 0.00059. Um, so that's not, of, of course, something you really want to see. And that rejection itself was a 33% correction. Now, it's not too alarming really seeing a 33% correction here for Luna Classic because we have seen a 40% correction there. We also had um, a major correction over here, which was also quite a bit, 28%. So these sort of 25 to 40% corrections for Luna is, is typically normal. However, I do think a 40 is sort of pushing the boat out a little bit too far um, in contrast to the other ones. You can see this was also a correction that we had right here. Swing low down to swing low. We had 26%. We also had a correction over here of about 28%. So they've actually all been under 30% except this one that we just had. So what happened recently is we lost a key support level over here in this horizontal channel. We lost the 0 0.00044. We also lost this channel here, which we're talking about. If we lose 0 0.00043, there's a good chance we retest the 0 0.00038, which still holds as a support. And on the diagonal, we've still got this very, very imperative support level, which we cannot break because if Luna Classic does break this support level, I'm talking about this 0 0.00039 on the diagonal macro scale, written in all the way from the 7th of September, which is only a few days ago, um, there's a good chance we're gonna come down, retest it, retest this support one more time, and unfortunately lose the price structure and even come down to lower support levels like 0 0.00033. Something like that. You might call me crazy, but I can also sort of visualize a bit of a head and shoulders pattern over here, which is a bearish reversal pattern. You might not be able to see it, but I kind of can. Maybe I am just delusional, but let's have a look. So we've got sort of a left shoulder formation over here with the head over here. Um, about there. And then we've got this right shoulder forming. Now you could probably disagree with me, but I am still seeing a very, very similar structure in terms of the fact that we've been through a high. Swing low, we're getting a high high, and then we're getting a swing low, and then a lower high, creating that right shoulder. Now, it's not really a textbook head and shoulder, but I'm just seeing the slight formation over there. And yeah, I suppose it's something you don't want to hear, but again, that's a bearish pattern. So it is looking a bit bearish. However, Terra Luna Classic is very, very uh, notorious for correcting hard. And the last times we did correct hard, um, you can see that on the four hour time frames, that's where we had these nice squeezes on the Bollinger Bands, where we're touching that 20 day moving average where we've got the pink 
um, support and resistance of the Bollinger Bands actually squeezing in together and we had it once here, we had it once here, we are waiting for it to happen again and that's probably when we're going to see the next decisive or explosive move to the upside. 20 day moving average was still underextended so it's really, really important that we do get a bounce here of the 0 0.00039 level all the way up to 0 0.00044 so basically long story short we have to hold the 0 0.00038 level otherwise we might see a bit of continuation and slip away so being under that 20 day moving average on the four hour is pretty bearish as you see it means we are in the inception of a new possible downtrend because before we were trading above this 20 day moving average pretty much the whole time we retest it and bounce here we got rejected on the 9th of september when we had that bearish tweet so that's not amazing in my opinion and 20 day moving average on the daily time frame this is where we do need to actually come down and retest so I don't know where it could happen but if we assume that we just sort of consolidated this 20 day moving average will keep coming up drop away slightly maybe the price can just sort of trade sideways so by about the 20th of September we should be trading at like I say 0 0.00038 if we can hold it if there's too much volatility in the market if we get a crash or something crazy then again 33 is possible 3-0 is possible and even at this rate 2-9 is still possible so let's just see what happens let's not get too excited i'm not going to put any more chips on the table for luna classic right now i think there is too much bearish potential we can see actually the bearish reversal did play out uh, on the rsi as well the bearish divergence as we see we had these high highs continuously coming through and the bearish reversal has now played out. The bearish divergence has played itself out as well. On the daily, we are still looking typically leaning towards overbought. So there's always the risk that we can come back down and have a bit of sell-off. But, you know, anything can happen in the world of crypto. I don't want to make this a bearish video at all. But I do want to just make sure that you guys understand the risks. Um, as this is not financial advice as well, by the way. But it's just important that we can see what is happening. So we're just getting that rollover. We're now putting through the lower highs and still technically on a macro scale we've got the higher lows coming through so we're getting that sort of bearish um, momentum come through luna classic on the twitter front we can see luna classic will shock the world like i say guys lots of twitter the majority of twitter is bots and things like that so luna classic will shock the world it's just another one of those sort of bullish community twitter pages not the official one of course but they are trying to create hype euphoria traction and create a FOMO for this particular token. I would not be surprised if the people behind this Twitter page all got in in May or June or something. So they're just trying their best to keep the price as high as possible. Maybe it's all for good faith. Maybe it's for good morale. I don't know. But it does seem a bit strange. Uh, big Luna Classic news. MEXE Global is doing additional burn for Luna Classic on top of their 1.2% burn tax for us. So this is really nice. Fudge, major ex centralized exchange to support Luna Classic. If you'd like to aid Terra Luna Classic and other centralized exchanges, feel free to deposit your Luna Classic here. So, quite interesting. We can see MEXC is actually integrating the burning of 1.2%, something that Binance never got around to doing yet. Breaking news, Eris Protocol has just announced to be becoming to Luna Classic. They are the first protocol since the crash to be joining Luna Classic. This is really, really nice. Eris Protocol, get ready, set go the first new protocol launching on terra classic happens now so this protocol is offering 196 percent apr and up to 600 percent apy so that is absolutely crazy this reminds me of pancake swap back in the day remember a big apy is also very risky and it does not last forever so unless you enter at the perfect perfect time and you're investing your staking every single day to get that capital back asap to reduce a risk it's not usually always worth it and here is the burning so far. Total burn Luna Classic 3.852 billion tokens right there, um, which is pretty good. 0.055% of the total supply. So we are nowhere near where we need to be, guys. We're nowhere near. That's the truth. If we look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart today, before we go, let's have a look at where we are in terms of, you know, retailers and where we can effectively buy wow we touched down right at the bottom of the the uh, rainbow chart here in that dark blue region just like here COVID 19 
just like all the way over here through 2015 to 2017 we were in this accumulation season that's exactly where we are today i believe guys i'm not giving you financial advice i'm just someone that makes youtube videos but yeah that is what i see so before you guys go make sure you do check out the discord i mean why not it's completely free everyone is just providing some fantastic information if you want to consider also becoming a patron guys oh you can look at my tiktok as well if you want um i'm doing patronage per month it's only cost a few pounds and you can see each option gives you some nice benefits you're gonna get private messages one-on-one -on -one lessons if you want them of course they won't like last days and days but just a few minutes you know talking you're gonna get trading signals much much more as well as a free ebook which is packed with value so if you want to become a patron check down below also make sure you look at all the educational content down in the description too that really really does help and before you go you lovely people you subscribe like comment also because you know your support means everything and that that algorithm to be honest is really really bulletproof trying to push through that algorithm is quite difficult to be honest and i'm here through the bear market i'm going to give you videos every single day um well, more or less every single day maybe a few weekends off but yeah guys i'm making like between 80 and 100 videos today and it does become exhausting um, but I'm doing it for all of you because I love to see these positive comments and I like seeing people thrive and prosper from speculations and conversations that we're having together as a community. So that's the objective. If you want to subscribe, amazing. Thank you so much. If you want to become a patron, even cooler. But the least you can do is just get into the Discord channel. It doesn't cost anything. And yeah, come say hi. See you soon. Bye for now. Stay crypto safe. Much love.